After a weekend of intense negotiations and no compromise, property tax relief goes without a whimper. Lawmakers pass over the three bills that would have provided relief. The idea of saying it's, it's a bridge too far and just throwing up our hands and giving up is the wrong answer. But Senators starting... Tom Brewer and Justin Wayne started a movement to either extend the session 30 days or call lawmakers back this summer in special session. I think it's necessary for us to do something about property taxes, but more importantly, it's, we need to do something about funding our education system equitably and equally across the state. It would take 40 votes to extend the session. To call a special session, the governor would have to make the call or 10 senators would have to petition the Secretary of State and then get 33 senators to sign on. So it's a one way of putting them on record on how they feel about the issue of property tax. They say there's an urgency because of the troubled farm economy and a looming petition drive that could let voters decide a billion dollars in property tax relief. We had an opportunity to fix this in the legislature and we chose not to. Now it's up to the people to decide. While some are skeptical a special session would accomplish anything. I don't know if it would help. I would consider anything. In a letter to constituents, Senator John Keene says a special session would allow lawmakers to focus in on one issue and look at all options. We started the session in January with everyone knowing that this was a significant issue and one that we had to address. And it was day 53 before we got the first bill on the floor to even begin debate. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.